Good morning, Home Base Nation. For those of you that might not know me, my name is Brett Thompson, and I'm an exercise physiologist at Home Base, a partnership of the Red Sox Foundation and Massachusetts General Hospital. Today's workout is going to be a little bit different than ones that we've previously posted. This workout is going to be a supplemental workout for our older population and older veterans. So this workout really focuses on making sure that the neurons are synapsing at the right junction in order to perform our daily movements of life. So I know that sounds like a lot, but basically it's going to consist of a warm up, some integrated mobility movements or functional movements, some resistance training, and finally a cool down on your own. So this cool down is just going to consist of five to 10 minutes of a walk, jog, run, whatever you please. For the resistance training movements, there are going to be four of them. They will each have a set number of reps, but you're going to perform each movement for four sets. Hope you guys enjoy it. All right. So like I said, we are gonna start with a warm up, and since we're doing lower body today, we're gonna to do a hip mobility warm up. So we're just gonna use a door frame here for stability and support. I'm gonna have Jaime face the frame. Now from here, we're gonna have four movements. We're gonna have a hip extension. So Jaime's gonna bring that leg back as straight as possible with the toe pointed up towards his body, and then we're gonna move straight into a hip flexion where he brings that knee up nice and high to his chest. So we are activating the glute on the extension and the hip flexors on the flexion. Now from here we can go into abduction and adduction. So abduction means to bring away from the body. So Jaime is going to bring that leg away, leading with the toe. And adduction means to bring towards the body. So Jaime is going to bring that leg back towards his body, crossing that other leg. So those are the four hip movements. Now we are going to do a torso movement, so we're going to do a torso rotation. So I'm just going to have Jaime keep his back as flat as possible, open up one of his arms, and lead with, follow the eyes with his hand, follow his hand with his eyes. So each movement is going to go for 12 to 15 reps for just one set, and we're going to make sure that we're doing each side. Now that we're done with the warm up, we're going to move on to some integrated mobility or functional training. We're going to be focusing on the three planes, sagittal plane, the frontal plane, and the transverse plane. I'll explain those once we get to each movement. So the first one we're going to be working on is the sagittal plane. And for each movement, what I'm focusing on is the hip joint and the thoracic spine. So the first movement is going to be a sagittal plane thoracic and hip extension. So Jaime is going to put his arms up, he's going to step forward extend the spine, and extend this stance hip. We do a side view. As he steps, he's reaching back with those hands, extending the spine, and the stance hip. Now, if we have problems with stability or balance, we can use our door frame here, put one arm, and then same movement. Follow that hand. Extend the spine, extend the hip. Sagittal plane. We're going to go for 12 to 15 reps each leg. All right, so now for our second integrated mobility movement, we're still going to be utilizing the sagittal plane, but the movements at the thoracic spine and the hip are going to be different. So instead of doing extension, we are going to be doing thoracic spine and hip flexion. So I'm just going to start with the hands forward, and it's going to be very similar, but instead of stepping forward, he's going to be stepping backwards and reaching down towards the toes, flexing the spine and that stance hip. The reps are going to be the same, 12 to 15 each leg. And remember, if you do have stability or balance problems, we still have our door frame handy here. Just use that to stabilize yourself and perform the same movement. 12 to 15 reps each leg. Now, for our third and fourth movements, we're going to be utilizing the frontal plane, which means side to side. So, the first one, I'm just going to have Jaime step to the side, raises his right hand up, and step to the side with his right hand. Now, freeze. As you can see, we're working on abduction of the hip. So, abduction, like I said before, means away from the body. So, this hip is opening up away from the body. 
on the opposite side, we have a lateral bend or a side bend. Okay, so Jaime, go ahead and finish the movement. So after he steps, we get that abduction of the hip, side bending of the spine, and then he comes back to center. Now, if we need stability and balance, we can do the same movement using our door frame. Twelve to fifteen reps each leg. All right, now for our fourth movement and our second movement, utilizing the frontal plane side to side, I'm going to have Jaime do hip adduction. So adduction is bringing that hip towards the body, whereas abduction, the movement we did previous, is away from the body. So again, Jaime's going to have that hand up, and he's just going to step over the other foot and extend. Now, if he freezes, you can see that this stance hip is move towards the body or adducted. We go ahead and complete the movement and then we come back to center while also utilizing a side bend. So now, again, if stability can be tough for you, we still have our door frame here that we can use and we can still use the same movement. Hip adduction with a lateral side bend. 12 to 15 reps each side. Now for our fifth and sixth movements, we're gonna be utilizing the transverse plane, or rotational movements. Now, we're gonna be working on rotation of the hip and the thoracic spine. So, Jaime's gonna have his feet parallel, and then he's just gonna sidestep backwards and open up those hips, or externally rotate that hip. And as he does that, he's gonna rotate that spine as well. So as we can see, that stance hip is externally rotating or opening along with the thoracic spine. 12 to 15 reps each side. So our last movement for integrated mobility, still using the transverse plane, this is gonna be an internal rotation of the hip and thoracic spine. So, time his hands are gonna be out, and this time he's gonna step forward and rotate. So now that stance hip is closing, or internally rotating, along with rotation of the thoracic spine. Same thing, stability and balance issues, use the door frame, 12 to 15 reps each leg. Now we're gonna get into a little bit of resistance training. So we're not gonna be using any weights, I know when you hear resistance training you think heavy lifting, but we are just gonna be using our body weight against the force of gravity. So our first movement, using our trusty door frame that we have here for support, is just gonna be a body weight squat. So I'm gonna make sure that Jaime's feet are at about shoulder width apart, and then he's just gonna sit back, leading with the butt, till his legs are at about a 90 degree angle, and then back up. Making sure to keep the back as flat as possible, the chest proud. And we're gonna go 12 to 15 reps for four rounds. Each movement is gonna be four rounds. For our second resistance training movement, we're just gonna do a reverse lunge. So Jaime's gonna use the door frame for support, and now he's just gonna step back with one leg and drop that back knee down to the floor, trying to keep his back as flat as possible, and that chest nice and proud. And back up. You can either alternate legs or do one leg at a time, it doesn't matter. We're gonna be going eight to 10 reps each leg. For our third movement, we're gonna be doing a side lunge. So using our door frame here, Jaime's just gonna to step to the side, keeping that stance leg as straight as possible and sinking into a side lunge. Drop that butt down nice and low, trying to get that leg to a 90 degree angle, keeping the back as flat as possible and the chest proud. And since this is a unilateral movement using only one side of the body, we are gonna go eight to 10 reps each leg. Our fourth and final resistance training movement is just gonna be a calf raise. So, using the door for support, Jaime's gonna keep his feet at shoulder width, and he's just gonna raise up onto his toes, hold for about three seconds, and then come back down. Back up on the toes, back down. Bilateral movement, 12 to 15 reps. Hope you guys enjoyed the workout. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to us to learn more about our Warrior Health and Fitness program 
at homebase.org. Remember to share this content with your friends, family, and the rest of Homebase Nation. And don't forget to follow us on social media at Homebase Program. Thanks, guys.